What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you five awesome glitched out visual effects that you can mix and match for your next video project. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, leave a like below and let's get started. So I've got a bunch of random clips on the timeline to demonstrate on and the first one I'm going to show you how to do is a pixel stretch effect. So this is one I've actually done a tutorial in Photoshop on, but if you want to get a line of pixel that kind of distorts and stretches out on one part of the image, what you want to do first is duplicate your original layer. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option and just click drag upwards. That's a nice little shortcut to duplicate. And on this second layer, I'm going to search for an effect called crop. So I'll click and drag the crop effect onto the second layer. Now just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to turn off the visibility of this first track for a second. And on this crop effect, let's choose a, a line that we want to be the pixel stretch. So let's say right about here on the edge of his body, I want it to stretch that amount of pixels leftward. So I know I'm going to have to turn the left percentage up, let's say about 40%. That looks about right. And then if we want to just have one pixel's worth to make up 100% crop, we're going to go to the right side and turn it up 59.9. So that leaves us with 0.1% sliver of video and we want to stretch that. So if we check this little zoom button, it actually zooms in on that pixel and since it's only one sliver, we effectively stretch that one pixel out. But then we want to get rid of this right hand side again. So we're just going to drag one more crop effect on top and crop the right side the same amount that we did on the original. So 59.9%. Now when I turn the visibility of the other layer back on, you can see we've created a pixel stretched effect. But you can see it's a really awesome glitchy visual effect and you could do a horizontal line, a vertical line, whatever way you want. I could see all types of cool abstract uses for this. The second effect that I'm going to show you is a cool scan line effect. So let's drag another clip to show you. And if we search for an effect called wave warp, there's a ton of cool things we can do with this distortion effect. So I'll click and drag it on my video clip. And what this does is it just adds a certain type of wave like a sine wave or triangle and it animates it at a certain speed. So this is a basic ripple going on. But a cool scan line that we can do is switch this to wave type square and this makes it a little bit more straight and then increase the wave width until you just have one wave going across the screen at one time. It can be kind of hard to see but you can see I have one line of separation here. Now I'm going to change the direction to be 180 degrees to get a horizontal line. And when I press play, you can see it's kind of doing a slight scan refresh. But if I want to make that more powerful, I can increase the wave height to add a little bit more separation. And in order to get rid of that black bar that pops up, let's just choose pinning to all edges. So that'll make sure everything gets stretched back out to fit. And when I press play now, you can see I've got a much more powerful scan line refresh that's going on. So you can adjust the wave height, the wave width to get as powerful or as subtle as a refresh as you want and the speed to make it go faster or slower. So the wave warp is actually really cool. You can play around with that to get all types of glitchy effects. I've shown other tutorials on my channel, but another cool displacement we can do is a turbulent displacement. So I'm going to delete this wave warp for a second and on the same clip, I'll search for an effect called turbulent displace and I'll click and drag it on. So this is similar to the wave warp but it's more of a liquidy displacement. And that looks kind of cool already, especially with this neon video clip. But one thing you can do to really make it look messed up is increase the complexity. This basically multiplies the amount of ripples over and over, and you can get a really crazy glitched out visual effect just by increasing the complexity to like eight or nine. Now this is a pretty heavy effect on the processing, so you can see it's red, that means it's not rendered. If you want to preview it, you can always press I and then O on a certain section and go to Sequence, Render, In to Out, and Premiere will render a video preview for you to smoothly play back. And the cool part about this and the last effect, and most of them, is that you can click the stopwatch icon on the left hand side here to toggle animation for any one of these parameters. So let's say as the video clip plays in time, I slowly want to make the size or complexity turn less or more. 
I can add a keyframe right here, move over to the end of the clip or wherever, and slightly adjust things. So I can make the size get a lot bigger and that'll give another layer of animation to this. So this is a cool one. It can really make it look like things are just melting or you're looking through some sort of bubbly glass and it can be an interesting glitchy effect for certain cases. So the next effect I'm going to show you guys is how to create a bit of a displacement glitch effect. This will allow you to take your original image and kind of displace it on top of itself in different ways. So I'm going to duplicate this original clip like we did in the first one. And again, I'll hide this visibility just so you guys can see what I'm demonstrating of the first layer. And on the top layer, we're going to add an effect called block dissolve. It should be in the transition video effects folder and I can click and drag it on there. It starts off at 0%, but if I increase the transition completeness, you can see it starts dissolving in this grainy way. But if I uncheck soft edges, it gets a lot blockier. So we can turn the block width up and you can see it almost creates this barcode scan line effect and you can make it higher or lower. So if I want horizontal blocks, I can increase the block width a lot. If I want to take things more vertically, I can increase the vertical block height. So I'm going to increase the transition completeness so that we just have a few slivers going on. And now I'll turn back on the original layer. So you can't tell what's going on, but just know we've created those slivers. And that means any time that we adjust anything on the bottom layer, it's going to create a bit of displacement or visual separation. So let's say I increase the scale of this from 100 to 115. You can see since those original blocks are still there, it creates a little bit of separation. And a cool animation we can do with this, I'll reset that scale, is I'll search for an effect called Lens Distort. And I should find it in the Video Effects Distort folder. I'll add that on the original layer. And I'll animate this in to start at zero curvature. And then at the end or at some part of the clip, I'll make it slowly go to like negative 35 curvature and get that warped effect on the sides. So now when I play back, you can see things will slowly displace on themselves. These slivers will slowly start to visually appear as the curvature increases. And you can even do things like animate the transition completeness on the first layer from different percentages. So maybe from 90 to 75 more bars will pop up as it animates and just play around with this. There's a million ways that you can displace things on top of each other. So hopefully this gives you one cool example of creating displacement effects. Finally, another glitchy effect that we can do a little bit more manually is just a simple stutter or time glitch. I have a whole tutorial about this, but basically if we take one frame of our clip, so let's say right here, and I right click and insert a frame hold segment, it'll insert a freeze frame right there and then replay the clip right there. But instead of just doing a freeze frame, I'm actually going to repeat the last couple frames to create kind of a stuttery glitch effect. So I'll press C, I'll cut this here and I'll cut this and then I'll delete that and just highlight both of these and duplicate them over themselves, copy and paste so that we have a couple glitches. To get rid of these little black empty spaces, I'll delete, do ripple delete, ripple delete, and I'll ripple, ripple delete that. Be careful if you're working in a project ripple deleting, you, you want to make sure everything stays in the right place. So now when I play that back, you can see I've got a bit of a glitch that I've created by just manually splicing in clips one another. So there's a few different routes you can take to do that. That's just one quick example. I didn't really pay too much attention on how many frames I was glitching, but I'll leave a link in the description to a full tutorial just on that if you want a more careful example. Also, as a final bonus effect before we wrap up here, first staying to the end, I'm giving you this gift. Search for an effect called Channel Blur and just click and drag it onto your clips. And you can increase the blurriness of just one color channel, such as red, green, or blue, to get that kind of 3D glasses color fringe separation going on. I like to check repeat edge pixels just to get a cleaner effect. And you can make it horizontal and vertical for a blur, horizontal for more of a left to right, or vertical for up to down. And that's a really quick kind of 
3D glasses color glitch that you can do. So that's a bonus. And that was five, even six glitched out visual effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it below. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're new. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And go follow me on social media at Justin OD Show on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stay up to date with me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.